Morning guys and welcome back to another video here on the Farming with Carp channel. My name's Eric, your host as always. It's gonna be another hot, scorching, beautiful day here in Indiana, guys. Let's see what we can get into. Don't forget, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like the content you're seeing, give her a thumbs up. All right, guys, so first thing here this morning, I'm out here at the weed zapper. Uh, we've got a few weeds, weed patches, I should say. We've got a few weed patches of giant ragweed we're trying to clean up. Whole field's not bad, just a few patches here and there, really in the low spots on a couple fields we're trying to clean up. So that's what we're after today. But first thing on the list is I've got to fix the weed zapper. So a couple weeks ago, Rick was running it and he ran it right into a property corner post and bent this copper bar bent the isolator broke the isolator so now i've got a new copper bar and a couple parts and we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get it fixed all right we got our new copper tube on our new fiberglass pole that holds the insulator uh, drilled a new hole and got our hot line into this copper bar and we are ready to go zap some ragweed so let's get in the tractor here get it fired up and uh, while we're out here today might check out some of these soybeans so let's see what we can do all right guys so we're out here doing some weed zapping out here in our relay soybeans you can see here when we came out here and cut the wheat here right there's where we cut and the soybeans have grown up so the soybeans out here look pretty decent we do have some ragweed out here that we're trying to control right now with the weed zapper but all in all these soybeans they look All in all, these soybeans look pretty good. So these soybeans out here look pretty good. So these soybeans here are organic feed grade soybeans. So these will be a black highland bean or a dark highland bean. These are not the food grade soybeans that we have most of our acres planted in. These are feed grade organic. So interested to see the difference here between the feed grade and the food grade with the black hylum and the clear hylum. A lot of people say that with the clear hylum there's a little bit of a yield drag and I would agree we definitely saw a yield drag last year uh, doing the clear hylum beans. But we're out here just trying to do a little bit of weed zapping. There's the weed zapper there in our natural habitat. Uh, now when we did harvest these relay beans you can see here where the combine track ran this is where the combine track ran these beans are toast we've got some broad leaves coming and a little bit of grass coming but not a big deal but all in all these beans out here they look pretty darn good in my opinion they look pretty good yeah these soybeans here look pretty good, I think. Looks like we got a few Japanese beetles eating on some of the leaves. Not a big deal, but pretty happy with how these soybeans look. We'll see what happens come harvest, obviously. But I'm just out here checking out these beans, and I think they look pretty good. Just clean the weed zapper off here. And uh, we'll get back to zapping some more uh, giant ragweed. Now, let's see if the camera can pick this up. So this field comes off a big hill, and there's a big low spot. And that's where a lot of this ragweed likes to sit in that low spot. Well, let's see if we can see it here. Over to the left, you can see all that light green. That's where the ragweed is. And to the right, it's all dark now. And honestly, it's pretty black. If I walk up to some of this ragweed, you'll be able to see what kind of job this weed zapper does on it. 
And I mean, it, it zaps it. It smokes the, the ragweed. These beans out here are just about up to my waist. So they're pretty tall. But here's a ragweed right here. Limp. All these ragweeds are limp. They are like a limp biscuit. This weed zapper does a good job. Here's a nice, here's a lovely, lovely big ragweed plant that the zapper is taking care of. Now the color changes pretty instant. They kind of start turning black when the weed zapper hits them. And in no more than 20 or 30 minutes, the whole plant will be black. So by the time you've, you've made that pass and you've went around and you have made a couple other rounds, those ragweed are pretty black. So the weed zapper does a great job on ragweed. And we don't have a lot of fields that have much ragweed in them. This one and one other one really up north. So we're just trying to get this ragweed before it gets to seed. All right guys, got the tractor parked. We're up here in another one of our relay fields where we did not get to harvest the wheat. You can see all the wheat still in here. Reason being, the beans grew too fast in this field. Uh, the wheat was also a little short, but we didn't, we couldn't get here in time when the wheat was ready to not clip off too many tops of the beans. So we just passed on this. Uh, but you can see quite a few beans out here. Just want to pull up a couple beans and see what they look like. See how we're coming along here. Not bad. Not too bad. They don't look as good as the other beans, but these are a little behind those other ones. So these got a few more pods to put on yet. So do those. But these are a little behind those other beans. But all in all, I think the beans look pretty good here too. Well, we've got two out of our three stops accomplished already today. Uh, but stop number three is not going to get us, we're not going to get that one done today. It's a pretty bad spot, honestly. Sits on a field up north that sits really wet. Last year we didn't have any ragweed, and this year we've got a lot of ragweed. we got a lot. So we're heading north, oh, about 15 miles or so north to get up there. And uh, start working on that one today. We will start working on that one and see how the beans look up there. Well guys, I'm having all sorts of electrical issues here with this tractor. We need to get someone out here smarter than me that knows a little bit more about electrical to deal with this as far as the tractor goes. But there's a short somewhere, it's pulling all the juice out of everything. Say I shut the tractor off right now, stone dead. The only way to get her fired up again is to jump it. So we've got some electrical issue going on here, similar to the one we had in the past. Uh, but us being the electricians and mechanics we are, we changed the batteries and that solved the problem for then. It lasted a while. Uh, but now we're on to the same issue, but a little bigger. Someone needs to look into it. That's probably going to be it here, guys. Just another day trying to do a little bit of weed zapping. Just hitting some spots and fields that are a little rough. Not the whole field. Just spots where there has been some ragweed come in or a few broad leaves that we just wanted to take care of with the weed zapper while well, we could. So that's what we're doing. This field I'm at here is one of the worst ones. It's wet. It's got a lot of wet spots and a lot of these wet spots have got a lot of ragweed. But we're going to get her done. There's still beans down there. The beans look fine. They've grown with the ragweed. The ragweed's obviously just grown taller. Uh, and we're able to get it get to it now. So it's not a huge issue. But we're going to take care of it while we've got the time and we've got the equipment. Just need to get it fixed, up and running. And uh, maybe we can get back at it tomorrow, I hope. But just little electrical issues here that are going to shut us down for the day. No one wants to have them, but we'll have, we're will have we having them. But it will be it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, the beans and a couple other fields look pretty good. These ones aren't near as good here. 
earlier season bean they're a little shorter nodes are stacked plenty tight though so a lot of help they're fairly heavily potted so we'll see how they do but everything will work out it'll be just fine and uh, we'll get the weed zap and get this field done and this will probably be our last field to zap might have one more down by the river to get done but that's nothing so just a few acres left to weed zap and we should be done with this rig for the year I hope but nothing nothing much exciting going on here guys just weed zap and looking at some beans fields as we go through them but uh, that's gonna about wrap up this video guys I appreciate you watching content sucks I know it's slow it's slow here we'll get picked up here shortly hopefully especially once harvest comes around it'll be exciting stuff but hey guys I appreciate you watching this video we'll see you on the next one